Good morning, everyone. 5.30 a.m. And I'm a little tired. Let's turn the lights on. And the day begins. First, the workout, then breakfast, and then work. And what's breakfast? I typically eat the same thing, so lots of berries, blueberries, blackberries, raspberries, strawberries, Greek yogurt, heaping tablespoon of almond butter, always the coffee, and the dog always gets some blueberries also. Luna? What's in the fridge? Lots of vegetables. Unfortunately, some cheese, that's my weakness. Lots of berries, some prepped meals, um, kombucha, Greek yogurt, coconut yogurt, almond milk, and tons of nut butters. Downward dog with the dog. When I can't get out of the house, it's either yoga or a bar class. And here you may ask, why is she bouncing up and down? <laughs> well, here's the exercise. Trampoline class, weights, ankle weights, trampoline, loud music, what could be better for a high intensity workout? I stay active during the work week by getting my workout in early morning, but I also travel a lot, uh, which involves a fair bit of moving around. And then when I am seeing patients or doing endoscopy, this is on my feet, um, which, which is a great way to get a couple extra steps. I think it's always important to continue learning a new skill, and for me, sailing has been that. It's not only been a great escape during the pandemic, but it's technically challenging. So it's this amazing combination of complexity and skill, but also relaxation. One thing I believe is really important is to stay active on vacations, and I love to hike. This is a great way not just to get exercise, but also to experience the place that you're in. Um, and while it can be exhausting, the rewards are enormous. 